After over 20 years of mountain biking, I finally found the perfect glasses for riding. Which ones am I talking about? Tafosi Slice. These are hands down the best glasses I've ever used, and here's why. There is no bridge in the middle to block your vision. When I did my unboxing and fit video over four and a half months ago, since I'm recording this one, I didn't realize how much of a difference that would make when riding. So not only is there no bridge in the middle, there's also no bars at the top. So you've just got the lens. Now I know there's other glasses out there like this. The transition of where the lenses start and stop at the top is almost seamless. So when you're riding, you don't even notice the glasses. And the other reason that you don't notice them is because of the very little pressure that they put on the side of your head. So I've used sunglasses that I put a lot of pressure on the sides of my temples and they give me a headache after three or four hours of using them, not these. And they also have the rubber on the side to really uh, allow them to have good grip without putting a lot of pressure on the side of your head. Now I will say that if your nose is really sweaty, and this is just me, I have pretty narrow temples, but if you're doing something off the bike and let's say you're looking down and pumping up a tire or working on your shoe or you know using a wrench on your bike, whatever, uh, they can slip down. And so in those instances, you probably need to take them off and just put them like in your hydration pack or in you know a pocket in your jersey or even on the vents of your helmet, you can do that. Never set glasses down on the trail. I'm telling you from experience. I've done it and other people have done it and left the glasses. I've lost a couple pairs of glasses like that. I will never set glasses down on the trail when I'm working on my bike. But I say that to say that they may slip down, but the trade-off is worth it because uh, like I said, your vision is just not blocked. The other thing that I love about these is the fact that sweat does not drip down on the lens. Now, if you're really sweaty, no matter what glasses you're using, the pads from your helmet will kind of just drop sweat down. But I've had some glasses that actually make contact on my forehead and sweat will drip down your forehead and then get on the glasses, not with these. These sit really far off my face. And so that's another thing that makes these so comfortable. Now, since I'm doing a follow-up video on these, I'll go ahead and mention something real quick about the sledge glasses, which I also showed in that unboxing video. So these are the sledge. I've actually gotten a lot of compliments on these uh, as far as how they look. Now these do grip your head a little bit tighter. They don't give me a headache. They're not that tight, um, but they do grip better. So I definitely don't have that problem. You know, if I'm looking down, working on the bike or whatever. So I got the slice for mountain biking. Now the slice, like I said in that first video, these are photochromic. So they get darker in the sun. I've used these on gravel rides. And if it's you know really cloudy out, I'll use these because these I got for riding in sunshine. But if it's cloudy out, I'll use these. And then if the sun comes out, it's no big deal because these get darker. And so I, you know, I really like these. If I had to pick just one pair of glasses for all of my riding, this would be it. But I like having the second pair because even though these come with other lenses, it comes with a clear lens and it comes with this lens. I don't know really what you'd call it, kind of a rose color. But these uh, I have not even used because uh, I just reserve these for riding out in the sunshine. Now, I just want to mention too, since I mentioned the slice not having the bridge, uh, there is a little bridge here, but it's very narrow and the bars at the top sit pretty high since this is a big lens. And so these two, like my vision is not blocked at all. And that's really important on a, a drop bar bike, like a gravel bike or a road bike, because your head's down a little bit more. Um, but these, since the bar comes up higher, um, these don't block my vision as well. So I'm really happy with both of these. So I just wanted to do this real quick follow-up video since that first one I did was more of an unboxing video. So the slice and the sledge, two glasses that I can highly recommend. And like I said, you can use these for mountain biking. I just haven't done it yet because I, I just don't want to go through changing the lenses. I mean, I, I, I can't tell you how easy it is to change these. I've changed lenses on other Tifosi glasses, but I think you just kind of, you know, move this down and pop the lens out. It takes 30 seconds, I would imagine, based on my experience of other Tifosi glasses. So yeah, just a quick follow-up video on these glasses. How about you? What are your favorite mountain biking glasses? I'm kind of curious to know if you found ones that 
like this don't block your vision and are super comfortable to wear. So questions, comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.